when you first get to your machine, the pedal will be wrapped up and sitting in here. So all you need to do is unwind it, put the pedal on the floor. You bring this, this one up and it goes into the side of the sewing machine. And the other end of it, if everyone wants to look under the table, you can see that it's plugged in there. You'll know that it's working because if you turn it on, the <coughs> lights will come on. For most of them, a few of them are actually the lights are broken. Alright, so I'm going to take this thread out and demonstrate threading with a different colour. So we need two different threads when we come to the sewing machine. We need a bobbin thread and we need our top thread. This bobbin, obviously there's no thread on it at the moment. So that doesn't mean that it's finished and empty, it means we get to wind a bobbin. And winding a bobbin is fun. So I'm going to put I'm going to put my thread on there. This little cap needs to go on the end. Can everyone see in there? Yep. You don't have that on the end. The thread's just going to keep falling off. When I'm going to wind the bobbin, I'm going to go the opposite way to how I'd normally go to thread the machine. So I'm going to go around the black one first. And then I'm going to go around the silver one. Now when I say around, I'm not wrapping it around. I'm just sort of letting it catch onto them. I'm then going to put it through my bobbin and I'm going to go from the inside to the outside like this. So it's sticking out this way. I'm going to push it onto this little, what do we call that, a little spike. And I'm going to push that spike to the side. Last thing I need to do, it's several steps. This bit here, this dial on the side, I'm going to, uh, there's like a mini dial inside it I'm going to pull out. Now I'm ready to thread my bobbin. I'm going to put my foot on the pedal. And let it go. When, I, when it's sort of caught and I feel like that's not going to come undone, I just trim that off. Stop it there. You can go a lot more than that, but I don't need that much. So to get it off, I'm going to push this back to the side, bring it up, and I need to push this back inwards, like that. My bobbin sits in here in the sewing machine. On these machines, the bobbin goes clockwise. So if you imagine that this is the hand of a clock, it's going to be going up this way. On a lot of other machines, though, the bobbin actually goes anti-clockwise. So just be aware of that if you're ever using another machine. So it needs to go, can everyone see down here there's a little gap in the middle? It needs to go through that gap. This is the bit everyone always forgets how to put the bobbin in. It comes up here until I feel a little click. And now I can thread the top thread. So the top thread just sits around the black circle, comes all the way down and there's even a little thing on the sewing machine that's a number two with a little U-turn on it. So it goes all the way back up again. Now it's going to come, I always call this little guy the rabbit head because I feel like he's a little rabbit poking his head up and down. There is a technical name for it, but I think rabbit head is more interesting. So it needs to go from the right to the left. And then, tension is good, we're doing, we're doing it quick enough, it will click in. Do you hear that click when it clicked in? You can always look at it through here to make sure that it's coming through here correctly from the right to the left. If it's the other way around, your machine will not sew properly. This is the main thing that's wrong when people's machines aren't sewing properly, that it's not threaded and it's not up in here. So the last couple of things I need to do is I put it behind, I call this guy the snail because I feel like that's a snail shell wrapped around. Then I can thread it through the needle. And of course, because I have everyone's eyes on me and I'm being filmed, oh no, it's gonna go through first. Up. I thought it was going to take ages. Last thing we need to do, those of you who did textiles last semester or last year, what do I need to do? I can't sew like this. You have to go. We need the bobbin to come out the top. Now I have, I all, I see this at least once a year of people try and take this thread and push it. I've seen one person succeed in actually pushing it manually through. The machine has a wonderful inbuilt system to do that. All I need to do is use my dial on the side. So this dial on the side controls the needle. I'm going to go towards me. That's important. Don't start going away from you because that's going backwards. I'm going to go towards me, a full rotation, so that the needle goes all the way down. 
and comes all the way back up. Now notice I'm holding this, but I'm not holding it tightly. I'm letting it go a little bit. Now what's happened down here? It's rotated. What's, what's this down here? Thread. Yes, it is thread. <laughs> it's picked up. Um, it's picked up the bobbin thread. If I'd use, I should have used two different colours here. That was silly of me. So that you could see the contrast of them. If I pull on both, this is the one bit that people get stuck on as well. If I pull on both sides of the top thread now, it pulls the bobbin thread up for me. That's one that you might like to go back and watch a few times. And now my machine's threaded. Before we stop this video, I'm just going to point out um, a couple of things up here. So the main stitch we're going to be using today is the straight stitch. So it's number 13 on our machines. You can change these stitches with this bottom dial down here. You can change all of these ones. So we're going to keep it on the straight stitch. Um, when I'm on straight stitch, I don't want to have width because width is saying how far out to the side do you want your stitch to go? Well, I'm going straight, so I don't want it to go out to the side at all. If I'm trying to sew in a zigzag stitch or most of the other stitches, I, if I don't have width, it won't work. It'll just sew straight. So two, when you're doing a basic uh, straight stitch, two and a half is a good stitch length to keep it on most of the time. If I think you should do a smaller one or a bigger one, I will let you know. Let's stop that video there.